Do you need to be positive all the time in order to manifest anything that you want? That is the big question that we are discussing today on this video. So if you want to find out, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Rebecca. I'm here with the intention to help you live a life of your dreams by breaking through your limiting beliefs, doubts, and fears so you can own your power and manifest a life that you love living every single day. Together, we explore this mindset mastery by discussing things on this channel like law of attraction, manifestation, lifestyle, wellness, and travel. If you wanna to work together one-on-one -on -one to figure out where exactly your limiting beliefs or blocks might be, we can work together and I will leave all of that information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So do you have to be positive all the time in order to manifest the things that you want? No, you don't. Does it help to be positive? Maybe, but overall, no, you don't necessarily have to be positive in order for your things to manifest. What matters the most is what is going on within your head. What are your thoughts like? What is it that you want to manifest, first of all? And then what are your thoughts towards that subject? Are your thoughts productive, positive, more leaning towards the fact that you can have anything that you want? If the answer is yes, then that's all you need. You don't necessarily need to be positive all the time in order for the things that you want to manifest. Does it help? Eh, maybe. I think it helps because then you're not just walking around with a bunch of anxiety all the time. But overall, no, you don't really need to be positive all the time. So I think this ends up being kind of a personal preference just on what do you want your energy on a day-to-day -day basis to be like? I can tell you for me personally, Overall, generally, I am positive. That's just my personality. I tend to be a little bit more positive, upbeat, peppy, but that is because that is what works for me. But I also know people that aren't necessarily positive or as bubbly as me, and they still get stuff done. They still get their things manifested. So it doesn't necessarily matter on your outwards, like you need to feel like this about everything. But personally, for me, that's just the lifestyle that works for me. I like to be positive, bubbly, upbeat, in a good mood because the opposite for me just doesn't work. What is important here beyond being positive and happy or this or that because happiness is just an emotion. Happiness is just a state. States will come and go. As human beings, we tend to go in ups and downs. So those things can be fleeting. However, what really matters here are your thoughts and the way that you are thinking about the things you want to manifest. As long as the way that you are thinking about your manifestation is in a productive or positive manner, then it's still gonna manifest. I think that this is actually an important topic to discuss because as human beings, our emotions sometimes tend to go like this, like, you know, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're having a low day, whatever, like things happen, right? So I think it's important to share this because some people have asked me like, well, do I need to be in a good mood all the time in order for my things to manifest? And no, you don't. It's just about whatever it is that you're thinking. Poopy moods are gonna happen. This weekend, I had some low moods, okay? Like there were some moments where I just like wanted to cry and I just didn't feel good. And that is okay. Like it is okay to let those emotions out and you need to let those emotions out because if not, they're gonna sit in and fester and become something else. But anyways, I knew that it was just temporary, that those things would pass and that I would get back on track and be fine. And look, all it took was just a couple nights of sleeping really well and everything's fine. So just know when it comes to your manifestation, no, you don't need to be perfect and positive and peppy all the time in order for things to come true. We're humans, it's natural, we're gonna have peaks and valleys, but what is important is how you are thinking about your manifestation. Are your thoughts on it productive, positive? Are you thinking, yes, it's in the bag, I'm gonna get this, I'm a boss, yes, this is all, you know, like, are those your core thoughts? Because if it is, then you're gonna get whatever it is you want. If it's not, then maybe you should take a look at how you're thinking about things and consider switching over your thoughts to become more productive or positive in terms of things you wanna manifest. So I knew that this video was gonna be short and simple. Really, no, you don't have to be positive all the time, but it matters what your thoughts are. That's kind of the gist of it. 
But also for me personally, it does help to be positive and upbeat because that's just my personality. That's just how I am. If that's what works for you, cool. If not, cool. Just make sure your thoughts are in line with whatever it is that you want to manifest and that's it. That's all you need. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like it, comment down below, share it with somebody else, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want some more tips on manifesting or law of attraction, I've got a couple of things for you. The first is that you can get my 30 day mindset mastery book for free. All you need to do is to be a subscriber to this channel, comment down below with a comment and leave your Instagram handle so I can send you a DM to get the book for free. It's a really amazing resource that will help you get into the mindset in order to manifest anything that you want. The second thing, if you want to work together one-on-one -on -one to figure out where exactly your limiting beliefs or blocks might be. We can work together to figure that out to get you manifesting a lot easily and more effortlessly. I will leave all of that information in the description box down below. And the third thing, if you want to sign up, you can get my free resource library for free. I'll again leave that in the description box down below. Thank you so much again for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I will see you in the next video.